Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are proud to be doing a review for a Gilliman ECU tune and some uh, clutch kit from Gilliman as well. So the first process in this is you have to take out your ECU and send it to them. So that's what we're going to be doing now. In order to do that, you're going to need to take out your driver's side seat. And then there is a cover right over here that you're going to need to take out. And then it is right in there. Okay, so now it is a few days later. We have got the shipment in from Gilliman. Uh, I have already taken a little bit of it out. Uh, it was really nicely packaged. Uh, this whole deal where you send in your ECU and then they send it back is a quick process. Um, so this is what was inside of the package. Here they have the ECU that you sent in. Um, it also has a handy note that tells you to install your clutch kit before you do the ECU. Um, that way, it, otherwise it'll take longer for the machine to learn uh, your clutch setup. And they also include a lanyard and a sticker in here for you. So if you want to add that to your sticker collection. Then this box over here is the clutch kit. They have the papers for you to uh, know what weights and uh, springs you need to use. Uh, included is the helix. And then three different springs. That way you can switch it out to how you like to ride. And then they come with a little box with your actual clutch weights. These have five positions in them for magnets. Um, this is pretty good because you can allow your clutch to run a different RPM and uh, engage differently based on how you like to run it. Okay, so your next step is to go ahead and take off your clutch intake tube and then the clutch cover. Um, there's, I think, nine bolts on the clutch cover and then you're going to have your two clamps on your hose. Okay, so now we are ready to take the secondary off. This is going to use a 15 metric socket and we just have it on an impact here. Okay, so now we have the secondary out. Uh, this is where the helix is gonna go. These are four T25 screws, so you'll need to take them out. Okay, so now we have taken the four T25 screws out of the helix. Um, they recommend that you have a clutch uh, compression tool. Um, that way you can't, uh, this will pop off otherwise. Otherwise you can just use a second person and push down pretty hard on it to keep it from popping off. Um, but otherwise, we can open that up. Um, those are your rollers. You'll wanna make sure that you know how them go. And then you will replace your spring and your helix. Okay, so now we have the Gilliman helix installed as well as your orange spring. Um, there's gonna be a little end of the spring. Uh, this is the old one, but there'll be like an end like that. Um, there'll be a groove for that to go in and then You'll want to put your rollers back on there and your helix here, just line up the X's. Um, it's very clearly marked on the Gilliman one that is really nice because on the old one here, you can see that's where the X is there, but it's not very distinguishable, especially when if your helix ever gets dirty or something like that. So nice touch by them to make it nice and big. That way you can always line it up. Really hard to do here. 
Okay, so we just got in, done installing the secondary clutch bolt. Now we are going to remove the primary clutch bolt that has an 18 millimeter, and then we put the mallet in there, that way it doesn't spin. There's the clutch bolt. Okay, so the next step, once you have the primary bolt out, is to start taking out the screws uh, on your cover here. They are going to be 3 8 inch screws. And then on the last three, you'll want to turn them out slowly, uh, alternating because they are uh, behind spring pressure in the backside. Um, so then you will want to make sure that you catch this plate before it shoots off. And that's how you get this cover off. Okay, so now taking this off, your spring is going to come with it. And so there is when you take off the spring and the cover. And then your weights will be back here. You'll press that in. And then there is, I believe, an Allen head end to the bolt and then a nut. And then you will take out your weight and put your new ones in. Okay, so now we're going to take out the clutch weights. This is going to take an eighth inch Allen wrench and then a three eighths deep well socket. And there is your old clutch weight. And then you'll be installing your new one with that same bolt and nut. And you'll repeat that for all three uh, weights. And then you'll be ready to put your new spring on and then the cover. Okay, now we have installed the clutch cover as well as our new green spring in there. Um, it's easier if you start three of these bolts and then work your other ones in as you go and then up next will be your actual primary clutch bolt that'll go in and then torque it to whatever they say in the directions um, this might vary between me machine to machine so that's what the next step is Okay, to put that bolt back in, you're going to use the same process, uh, put a mallet in there, uh, and instead put it the other way, that way your uh, clutch doesn't spin, and then torque it to 80 pounds for this machine. Like I said earlier, it may vary depending on what machine you have. And then you are ready to put the belt on, and then put the clutch cover back on, and then go to your ECU. Okay, so to get your belt on would be the next step after you get the primary bolt on. In order to do that, you are just going to slip it over your primary and then start it on the top of your secondary and then turn your secondary. Um, if you need help on turning that, uh, you can use uh, your tool or you can just do it by hands. Uh, once you get it with a belt kind of started on there, then you're gonna wanna open your sheaves with your tool 
and pry that open and then it should go a lot easier for you. Uh, that's how you get the belt on. The next step would be uh, to put this shock guard back on. Um, you, ha I had to take that off in order to get at the primary bolt with an impact. Otherwise, if you do it with a ratchet, you probably don't need to take that off. Um, but that's the next step. And then after that, then you can move on to your ECU. Okay, now going to installing your ECU. Uh, there's only one way it can really go. Just make sure that you have your wires, uh, remembering which one is the top and which one is the bottom. And then it's your four screws that go in there and they just screw right into those little pegs. And that is how your ECU gets installed. Okay, once you install your ECU, you can put your panel back on that goes over the top of that and then install your seat. And then you are ready to uh, get the belt tightened by starting the machine up and driving back and forth a little bit just to get it uh, seated into the clutch properly. And then you are ready to test out your RPMs. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next video.